It's not back there. I don't know why I even just did that. It's bright. Don't look at my car, please. It's, it's bad. And then my sight, my dew. Now we're ready. Let's go set up this year's compound bow by Bowtech. I haven't shot my bow and I don't even know how long. So let's just start fresh with a new one. I was at like 54, but I haven't shot since yeah. literally last September. Yeah. So I don't really wanna, off. yeah and like cause bad habits and stuff. So maybe go maybe like 48 or something like that. So we use this I guess two, three years ago, and then like the first gen Oracle, and loved it so much. But then we were like talking about elk hunting, and you know how you can't use like the Garmin and the Oracle everywhere. And so I went to a regular like five pin. But this year we're just we're just hunting at home in an Illinois, so we're. Mm -hmm. So just to give a little background on the bow that I'm shooting, I'm shooting the CP30 from Bowtech this year. I shot the CP28 the year before, I shot the Revolt X the year before that. I've been shooting Bowtech for I believe six years now, we'll never go back to anything else. And for any of my ladies kind of looking for a new bow, wondering what to get, I'm just going to tell you like the specs of this bow and why I personally like it. It's known for like a smooth draw, it's light. Um, so the whole weight of it's four and a half pounds. So you're going to have to add on your sight and whatnot to that, but it's going to be, you know, not a heavy bow. Um, the axle to axle is 30 inches. The draw length goes from 25 inches to 30 and a half. I shoot a 27 and a half inches for reference. And I'm a tall girl. I'm like five foot nine. Um, the FPS is 331. Um, you can get limbs for it for pretty much any weight draw weight you need. So like 50, 60, 70 pounds. Um, so it's not just a women's bow, it's, it's for everybody, but I'm just kind of letting you know why I like this bow versus others. I think she's tuned. All right. Yeah. Confirming your draw length is good. And then I want to confirm that this draw weight is good. So you want to shoot it though? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're welcome to shoot it. I haven't shot a bow. Oh. That was too easy. Okay. That was fun. And we're going to do the nose button too, right? That's a smooth shot. That's a very smooth shot. That is a very smooth shoot bow. That, I might be able to go up 52. Just, you know, well, let's keep it 50 because I can be very easy and correct and do a lot of reps with that. That was very smooth. It is. Smooth. That was like crazy smooth. Like We're gonna run in here and get a couple targets, like maybe a Glendale buck and stuff, because we have a tripod stand that we put together and we don't really have anywhere to put it at the moment. So we're gonna bring it to the backyard and like target practice out of it from an elevated surface. And so I need like a deer silhouette to shoot at to get an accurate practice in. And then all of my targets were left outside. I don't know who left them outside uh, and are so faded and stuff. So we're just gonna get a couple new targets. We haven't gotten any in years and Fresh start this season. Oh. 
Have you ever been in Academy for a shorter period of time? No. I, my husband needs to watch this and learn because he has to spend an hour the very least. I don't even think we were in there 10 minutes. Oh, Bertha's gotta get squeezing through here. I think that's her name. And so, I don't know though, because every car I've ever had, I've named it something to go with like the model of car they are. Like either the color or the make of it. So like, I had Tammy the Titan, Tanya the Tahoe, Betty White the White Jeep, Vanna White the White Truck. So I'm like, I don't know what I should name this. A White Expedition. I don't know. Gotta figure it out. All right, goaties, I gotta face this way so I don't get them. Now, I don't have the batteries in this new site yet. We're not even gonna be worried about siting this in yet. We'll do a whole other video about that because I have to site it in. It's already sited in at 20, and then we've sited it in at 60, and then because it's a range finding bow sight, there's this button that you're gonna put right here, and it like computes it. It's wild, it's awesome. Uh, so we'll make a whole video about that, but I figured I'd go ahead and christen this old Glendale buck that we just bought and um, put the first arrow in it. Now, I'm gonna say that and then miss it and go through the fence and I'm never gonna find this arrow again, but we'll figure it out. I'd say this is like 15 yards, 14 yards, something like that. Not, not far. The dead deer right there. All right, y'all, that's it for setting up my bow for this year's hunting season. Again, it's the CP30 by Bowtech, and I'm using the new Burris Oracle site. Stay tuned, we are gonna do a whole video of sighting this bad boy in because it's a range-finding bow site. It's awesome. So hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and stay tuned, subscribe, like before you leave, and I'll see you in the next video.